Hi, I'm Justin, G0KSC, and I'm an antenna designer and one of the people behind Innov Antennas and also the G0KSC.co.uk site, where as you can build antennas from my designs uh, for amateur radio use and for uh, private use only. One of the software packages which I've used over the years to produce many of my designs has been the Easy NEC Pro uh, software package, which is a, a package developed by Roy Llewellyn. Um, this is what's on the screen now, and uh, there are various different versions of this. And what I would like to do over a series of videos is give you an indication how best to use this software to good effect for the development of Yagi's. But I think it's important first off to look at this and look at the various different models and the reasons um, uh, for mentioning this is that there is a variation in cost and also the accuracy associated with uh, the, the designs that I produce. So as you can see from here there's three um, versions Easy NEC, Easy NEC Plus and then Easy NEC Pro. Now um, there is also two versions of the Pro Pro 2 as you can see here and Pro 4. Now predominantly all of the versions of Easy NEC use the NEC2 code which when you look on uh, Wikipedia you can see the various different versions that there are here as the NEC code. Uh, NEC2 is perfectly acceptable for use with straight wire Yagas and it works very well and very accurately but it hasn't had any development for around 30 years and is now in the public domain and is pretty much freeware. Um, however when you transition from straight elements to bent elements and this is a, a, a snippet from my G0KSC website here uh, one of my LFAs or loop fed arrays you can see that the driven element consists of a rectangular loop and if you look closely you can see that there are trombone ends which are fitted into the uh, driven loop in order that each side could be adjusted equally for fine tuning the antenna with NEC2 it's not particularly accurate with tapers where the size of the tube moves down and also bends and where there are tapers and bends as there are at the ends of these loops then accuracy starts to drop away so therefore you need a much more accurate solution which in this case is the uh, NEC Pro 4. The reason that this is more accurate is that this is using the NEC 4 engine here uh, which is until recently was still a, 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 um, a current uh, solution. It was uh, NEC 4.2 but NEC 5 has just been released just within weeks of this uh, video being produced. Um, and for the uh, NEC Pro 4 you can see that there is quite a difference in price. It's 675 but then this is US dollars but then there is a $500 fee for the um, the license for the NEC4 code. So the one of the main reasons for mentioning this is that I've said to people before when they've asked for some of the designs uh, to, to view in their own software that to view them accurately you need Easy NEC with the NEC4 engine and it's been said oh I've got version 6 well no the all of these are version 6 but all of these first three are using the NEC2 code. It's only Easy NEC Pro 4 version 6 that has the NEC4 code. So within the tutorials that we'll be showing, uh, as much as possible, I will run the simulations in both NEC2 and NEC4 where there is likely to be a difference. But just bear in mind, if you're using one of the uh, the um, versions that has the NEC2 engine, then there might be a differential between what you see and what I see in that final result. So that's the intro over for now. We'll move on in the next video to a, a basic or, or standard uh, straight wired Yagi.